Hello, and welcome to Sittin' with Jimmy. This is the place where we discuss all things creative because creativity is a way of life. Yesterday, I came across a brilliant quote from a singer-songwriter named Paul Weinfield. I'd like to share that with you today. He says, Leonard Cohen said his teacher once told him that the older you get, the lonelier you become and the deeper the love you need. This is because as we go through life, we tend to over-identify with being the hero of our stories. The hero isn't exactly having fun. He's getting kicked around, humiliated, and disgraced. But if we can let go of identifying with him, we can find our rightful place in the universe, and a love more satisfying than any we've ever known. People constantly throw around the term, hero's journey, without having any idea what it really means. Everyone from CEOs to wellness influencers think the hero's journey means facing your fears, slaying a dragon, and gaining 25,000 followers on Instagram. But that's not the real hero's journey. In the real hero's journey, the dragon slays you. Much to your surprise, you couldn't make the marriage work. Much to your surprise, you turned 40 with no kids, no house, and no prospects. Much to your surprise, the world did not want the gifts you proudly offered it. If you are foolish, this is where you will abort the journey and start another and another, abusing your heart over and over for the brief illusion of winning. But if you are wise, you will let yourself be shattered and return to the village, humbled but with a newfound sense that you don't have to identify with the part of you that needs to win, needs to be recognized needs to know. This is where your transcendent life begins. So embrace humility in everything. Life isn't out to get you, nor are your struggles your fault. Every defeat is just an angel tugging at your sleeve, telling you that you don't have to keep banging your head against the wall. Leave that striver there, trapped in his lonely ambitions. Just walk away, and life in its vastness will embrace you. I love this quote. I think it embodies some deep truths about life and can easily be applied to the creative journey as well as the hero's journey. When we start out as songwriters, our minds are filled with images of the singers and songwriters we admire. These artists hang out in our psyche, thanks in large part to the iconography employed by the record companies who financially back these artists. They invest huge sums of money into crafting images to essentially make these artists more than mere humans. They make them into icons. We graft our own dreams and desires onto these icons. We superimpose our ambitions onto their indestructible frames. And it's easy to confuse these icons for reality. It is easy to forget that Elvis wasn't even Elvis. Jimi Hendrix wasn't really Jimi Hendrix. The Beatles weren't even the Beatles. These are fictions in our collective imagination. The artists who populate these fictions are real people who by talent and a lot of luck and a lot of someone else's money became icons. This is a big reason why as artists we tend to over-identify ourselves with being the hero in our own stories. The heroic examples we have been fed are irresistible, perfectly curated, superhuman self-commercials. So there you are, the hero in your creative journey. Everything is subject to change by your will alone. Everything is controllable. If you just want hard enough, you will craft perfect songs that make people fall and weep at your feet. You will be so attractive that you are irresistible to anyone who crosses your path. Your puffed-up chest will be so filled with divine wisdom and love that the world will hang on your every noble word. You will emerge an icon, perfectly formed in the public eye, incapable of error, simply by being you. You will slay the dragon handily and play a sick guitar solo while you do it, and the video of the slaying will go viral and the sponsorships will roll in. Life will be easy from here on out. Yes, an easy life. I'll tell you something right now that has always been true in my experience. 
profound, emotionally resonant works of art don't emerge from having an easy time. Great mimicry, great commercials, cute hooks, expensive icons, yes, but profound works of art? This is not to say that you need to seek out suffering in your life. Don't worry. Suffering will find you. Life is filled with trials and tribulations. Everything around us and in us is in a state of constant entropy. This is what is meant by the dragon slays you. If you are wise, you will allow this to happen, knowing that it's going to happen no matter what you do. Let yourself be eviscerated, changed, stripped of all you hold on to. Let the icon of yourself melt in the heat of the dragon's fire. When you stop fighting and allow yourself to have this profound experience of immolation, you are bearing witness to the larger story of what it means to be human. This is when you, in a sense, return to the village. You have traded your icons for the truth of being, a truth of being that irreversibly changes the way you see the world and your place in it. And it's from this knowledge that profound artistic works emerge and touch the lives of those who witness them. There is no longer an icon to build, just a work to complete, a work that reflects a genuine human experience. A human experience that is the human experience, and is therefore very deeply and truly resonant. It is by this experiential process of letting the dragon slay us that we get closer to the truth we seek as artists. And the dragon is always slaying us. The process takes away all our egoic presuppositions and leaves us with the scars of truth. We will carry on from there. No longer icons fawning over icons, but simple messengers of the truth we died to ourselves for. So let the dragon slay you. Let the process of life enrich your creative perspective so that you can feed it into your art. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if this message resonates with you. It helps the channel grow. It helps get this message out. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're making great art and learning more about yourself in the process. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.